Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is my absolute pleasure today to bring you another full Steel Division 2 campaign. This is your host, Stardustr Gaming, and uh, we will be embarking on the campaign in the Tiraspol sector of the Romanian front. Let's go to Army General here, the Tiraspol sector. Um, so y'all can pause and read this if you like, it's the same as in my last series here with Jassy. Uh, and unfortunately, sadly, there is the same uh, intro. But here, as you can see with this map, instead of this, well, I should clarify this sector right here, right about there is where we stopped. This was my sector. Now, in this campaign, this will be my sector, and I'll be stopping this soviet thrust here in this uh in this area um we will be taking command of the third romanian army and parts of the german sixth army probably available as reinforcements under general demescrew uh, i probably butchered that but that's okay um and uh, with that we're just going to get right into it switch the ai to hardest switch team here um this is going to be an interesting time malinovsky was not much of a challenge so let's see if tablukin is um, again, y'all can pause and read this if you like, but hmm, that's kind of weird. Um, we are going to continue this. So let's launch, and uh, we have the same cinematic, so we're just going to... I'll let it play um, if y'all haven't seen it before, and then after that we're going to get right into it. All right, here we go. Very, very excited for this campaign. This is this is going to be one of the fun ones. Jassy was too easy. In the middle of August 1944, with heavy fighting raging across the Eastern Front and the Red Army in Poland drawing more and more German reinforcements into combat, the next strike was being planned by Stopka. The target? Romania. Taking advantage of the urgent redeployment of most German to reinforce hard-pressed defenses around the Polish capital, the Soviets massed huge forces in front of the weakened German and Romanian troops guarding the frontier. Stalin's objective is to knock Romania out of the war with one devastating blow. On August 20th, the second and third Ukrainian fronts launch a simultaneous attack in the Jassy and Tiraspol sectors. Striking hard at the sectors held by the Romanians, the Soviets aimed to envelop the reconstituted German 6th Army, rebuilt after its destruction at Stalingrad. These unfortunate German soldiers now find themselves trapped in an encirclement eerily similar to their infamous defeat two years earlier. Alright, here we go. We are receiving increasingly bleaker reports about an imminent Soviet offensive into our homeland. The bridgehead established by the Soviet 37th Army over the Dniester River poses the principal threat in our sector. Yeah, I can see if they're already across, that's going to be tough to, to stop. It is either the starting point of the assault from which the Soviets will surge out, or as the anvil against which to trap the 39th Corps if they try to break through across the river on each side of the bridgehead. So it looks like they have troops across the river here in this area. So holding this bridge at Bender will be really important because we want to bottle up there's a huge Soviet forces here, basically. So we want to bottle up as much as we can here, here, I guess whatever that is. And then here, we want to stop them. This is going to be harder to contain. Uh, and then this, I'm not sure if we're able to hold that bridge or not. Our military analysts consider Taryutin and Kumrat in our rear to be the most probable objectives. Unfortunately, the Germans are discarding our warnings. Prepare to fight, Commander. Your country Yeah, this is just like Finland. You. I made that joke earlier, too, like, in the last campaign. Like, yeah, Germans will just discard all the warnings. Okay, interesting. Definitely a big map here. Imagine if they made this all one campaign map. That would be really cool, but sadly they did not. Well, it looks like they have a water-type route here. Ikerman. So this is maybe only amphibious units can use this, or maybe all units can. This is just representative of, like, a bridge, basically, and for gameplay terms. Ooh, and look at that, they bombarded us there. Okay, so we'll inspect the whole battlefield later. Right now, we are going to fight for our lives here. Look at this. You can see that my units are much more spaced out as comparison to the last... Um, much more spaced out, uh, excuse me, as compare and in comparison to the last uh, map. So, it looks like we have columns of reinforcements stuck in the back here. We got aircraft. 
Looks like this is right at the edge of the enemy uh, air cover, so uh, let's deploy some uh, some aircraft, I guess, to support. They have this artillery regiment here, and we don't have an AA net, in fact, so it might be better if we actually... Uh, they probably won't use the AT regiment, I'm not sure, but they probably will use this. So let's use this. Use the Leers, definitely lighter equipped, but I mean, good for recon at least. I'm loath to use this artillery because I think that if they attack here, we'll want it for that battle, so I'm going to keep that in reserve. I'll throw that in too. And then I'm, I'm just debating what. Again, I see no. I see no airfield here. If we could capture Odessa, that would be mega pog. Uh, but I think movement is going to be a lot more restricted because, like, yeah, they got their route in. Just like, um, bef just like it's hard for them to come across here, here, he this narrower front, and here likewise. <laughs> here, I think it'll be extremely extremely difficult for us to break through so we're gonna have to like not we're not we're probably not gonna be able to encircle many of them we're just gonna have to take the blunt head on attacks as much as we can I'm thinking about you know I said I would look at the whole map but here I am so I'm thinking about taking looks like we've got some coastal defense yeah security regiments with the 50 mil mortars Sickerung's units okay cool well I'm familiar with those I like them a lot actually um, well, yeah, like I said, I wasn't going to analyze that, but now I will. I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll do what's called a pro-gamer move, and I'll take all of these troops and swing them backward like a hinge like this, and let the Soviets pour this way. Um, the objective with that is that if they keep moving out this way, I'll cut in behind them here, and if enough, because if I just stand my ground, we'll just go back and forth. I'll trade well on the defensive, but they'll just keep hitting me. It'll take, give me a lot of casualties, so... Um, I'm going to purposely open up the front line here like a hinge, let them flood through, and then close the gate behind. Um, here, it's less of an option. Right here, this like kind of rectangular sec this sector we have to hold because we can't... I guess I could. I could probably fold it back like this, but it's too dangerous, and we we want to hold this... Well, actually, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking audibly here. They're going to be pushing for this, right? And so obviously it's something that we want to defend, but it's potentially something we could let them take. So if we take these guys and just fold them back this way and let them take it, then we could use these to hook in. And in fact, this is going to attract a lot of them. So I think this is actually a good thing. We should let them take this city. Cause, uh, cause, um, and then, I mean, any progress down this road for the entire game is going to be tough, be like, for them. If if this fails somehow, we have to break and kind of fall back. There's one main road down here to Taryutin where they need to go. And um, it's all forest. Like this has, we can just entrench infantry here, and it's hard for them to bludgeon a spearhead through here. And the AI is not smart enough, probably, to curve around like this or use this, and I'll set up a blocking position here but for now let's let's ignore that let's do this battle now I just have to decide again if I want to use aircraft I think I do because Soviets like to throw in aircraft into the first battle probably it'll be an assault regiment so let's use this fighter group with 12 looks like a mix of okay these are all Romanian fighters piloted fighters not all Romanian built uh, 28 planes okay let's do this I'll be surprised if uh, there is no enemy aircraft here. And I'll be a little frustrated because I'll waste wasted a plane unit when I, I should use bombers. If, if they don't show up, I should use bombers and I would have been able to hit their artillery and do some good damage. But uh, no point in speculating now. We'll just have to wait and uh, see what they bring up. Okay, the Naval Assault Regiment. I don't know what that means. The star usually means that it's like a aircraft unit but I don't think it is. Sadly, we have no mixed bombers, so we can't really do much with the flames unless we want to strafe. Although, look at this. These are veteran pilots, apparently. Okay, this map. Interesting. This is a... This is interesting. I don't think... 
I've ever fought over this before. Okay, well, let's, uh... Looks like this is something we want to defend this here. This has got... Oh, I have. Duh. This is this map sideways. Okay. Wow, see, I told it, it looks so familiar and yeah, I didn't get it. Okay. Right. So, this ridge is important. This forest is an anchor. This is an anchor. This is an anchor. We don't we won't want to let him get past like a line like this here, so. That doesn't give a lot of coverage on the road, sadly, so I think we're going to split them into two different... Wow, that hits them almost right at the edge of their range. Okay, perfect. Maybe we should, like, have it fall back some. So this thing's range is 1750, so... The 1750 mark is about right there. We want these fields of fire to overlap. This thing's range is 1,500, and that's there, so maybe if we pull it back some, that would, yeah, that looks like a good balance to me. Now let's throw up some, uh, actually, let's put an MG42 bunker here. We'll make this a little fortified position, throw some trenches down. Trench line up there. You know, we could be cheeky and throw infantry here, which I, I think is what we're going to do. Now, for 37 mils to overlap with that, they'd have to be significantly farther out, so. I'm looking and seeing. Yeah, that's probably our, where we want those <coughs> 37 mils for our 50 mil pack. Deploy land this way, so this will be an awkward route for them to traverse. So we could probably just put this thing right here and hit them. I definitely feel like we have a lack of anti-tank guns to some degree. I really just should put three 37 mil packs there, didn't I? Wow. Well, it's okay. I can go there. It looks like we've got all German troops here. No Romanians. That's just fine and dandy by me. We can really like heavily increase the potency of the defense with these guns. Yeah, good spot for a gun pit. These are going to be doing the most work it looks like. In fact, I am going to use all my gun pits. Oh, this will probably take artillery fire as a result of our positioning. And we have to keep in mind, we don't want to lose our guns very quickly because, I mean, not to, you know, be, speak the obvious or anything, but we'll need them for the game. Okay, let's also throw down our commanders. Right, that's aircraft. Okay, and our commander. Where is he? There, I missed him somehow. Very cool. This is actually going to be a very solid defense, I think. This looks really good. One more gun pit. Not an IG, we'll pull throw one of these down. Yeah, that should that should do it. If 
for the most part in terms of like the bigger firepower we're bringing. Nice. Okay, now, like I said, we're gonna mess around and throw pioneers in. Landsat zur Stelle. Just to frustrate them, make them a little, a little hose mad, a little mad. We'll make them a little, we'll make them, we like to do a little trolling, right? We like to do a little trolling. Okay, good. Uh, yes, never forget your recon. Hört! Wachsam bleiben! It's a little weird, I have to say, fighting without a super abundance of artillery, but I'm sure I'll get used to it. This is going to take a lot of arty, but whatever, it's okay. Stehen bereit. Oh, what the hell, we'll just move him in there. Right over, right over right the back. MG42s, always welcome to have a little bit more of those. I feel very secure about these defenses and we haven't even put up all of our like official defense things yet. Alrighty, I feel good about this. Guess we'll put another machine gun there. Another one there, and then, uh, just to be annoying. Well, no, yeah, let's, we'll put this down right here to soak up, like, fire, I think. I don't anticipate any vehicles coming through there, but I guess... Well, we already have this covering it, so like, what would we need this for, even? I guess we'll just add a, another layer of fire to that. This is an ex extremely secure position that we have now, don't, isn't it? Re-fire superiority? the best way to do things. Okay, let's find room for one more grenadier. Let's throw him here. Right. Let's, uh, we want enough leaders to buff everybody. Oh yeah, I forgot. We kind of do need a Baobacta, I think. Battery, phew. We'll put him there. Kind of a weird spot, but it's fine. Okay. Where's the artillery? There it is. Mehr Feuerkraft gefällig? The famous 120 mils. This defense is actually going to be a little OP, I think. Uh, don't. Which is awesome. Which is awesome. <laughs> Dude, everywhere's got their own leaders, their own troops are buffed. We're a gangsta up here. We're doing good. I don't even know what else we're gonna need. I guess we'll throw in a fighter because maybe that naval assault regiment is aircraft. 
Now I think about it, that actually really might be aircraft. I don't know. I guess uh, for our last points, we'll uh, spend some on making sure this already is supplied. Okay, let's start. Find direct for eigener Stellung. I hear no air alarm. The air. Oh. Well, I was gonna say I jinxed it, but I'm actually really glad that they did have aircraft here. But we're gonna have to start dumping all our points into fighters, which is okay. We can do that because um, it's okay. We can do that because um. We have really solid ground defenses, I feel like. Like, look at this. This is awesome. That IL-2KR Are those fighters? Oh, no, they're not. Aw, oh, hell no. We're gonna get bombed, bruh. Damn, son. We're destroying these guys. Air raid was... I don't know how successful it was. I forget if the bunkers have like a damaged texture or not. I don't think they do. Looks fine to me. I don't find their eight very effective at all. Let's set one guy up. Target destroy that, but he'll be on combat air patrol. Uh, yeah, there we go. We got two more enemy planes coming in. We want to kill them before they drop their bombs. Well, we won't do that, it looks like. I just don't see that as very effective. And wow, those planes are already out of ammo. That's crazy. This IAR has a lot more ammo. We're gonna evac it, so we don't want to risk a plane. Goodbye, my son. Damn, though, those wing cannons are powerful. They have the same. No, they're not the same. These actually seem like they're better. Wow, I totally <laughs> guessed it, that they would have this exact thing coming in. That's awesome. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> These guys aren't getting anywhere. We're shredding them. Although, that I can do without. Damn, son. This is like... Ooh, we lost fun. I guess it was to a tail gunner. Where is it? We should be able to see the plane, like, crashing. Oh, there it is. That's our plane, I think. Yeah, he must have been lost to the tail gunner. What a cool model, by the way. This, this E7, I like it a lot. Alice. The Romanian colors, that's just super cool. By the way, destroy that. Okay, I'm just kidding. I actually kill that thing. That should have the priority. Sorry, son. You're done for now. I like how the snipers are engaging the MG42 not knowing that this, man, this boy is winning to just annihilate him. Like, bruh. Oof. I think what's most important right now is setting up an effective combat air patrol. Ooh, watch out for the... Watch out for the IL-2, they're actually kind of dangerous. 
Ceva noutăți? La dracu m-au găurit bine de data asta! Sunt ca și morți. That would be so cool to watch, like from the ground, like just watching the planes flying, engaging the enemy, diving in on that those IL twos and destroying them. Like that's so cool. That being said, we can't keep our eyes off of the main uh, stage for long, because otherwise we're gonna start losing guys. Looks like those are in need of shells already. Probably a good thing that we started those pre-stocked. Like just watching from the ground, German planes chase the ILTs. It's this really good deal. They really added themselves to the planes in the game. They look like how I imagine planes would look in the sky, like from a World War II perspective. You see them kind of glinting, flying around, chasing other planes. Really beautiful stuff. This is after, I think I have 1700 hours in the game, so I'm still impressed. I like how he said that we would be using them for ground support, and now we just use them to start talking, like knocking at me, like vehicles and stuff. <laughs> Tail gunner might uh just get some good hits on him. Yeah, I think we're gonna permanently task some of these guys with knocking out enemy uh, vehicles and stuff. Or these enemy artillery pieces, the big ones. Ah, uh, we lost our MG42 there. I think that was what it bombed just now. Those guys are straight up not having a good time. I don't think. Look at this. Our pioneers, which are deployed like, I each like cheekily, are not even having any problems. Oh, I think we got it. We got it, boys. Nice. Okay, I guess just more planes. And uh, now, at this point, I think we need more artillery. Start dropping more batteries out here and um, right here. Sorry, support gun, you don't get to live. Your being alive privileges are revoked. Got it, look good. Ooh, we lost a. I'm keeping an eye to make sure none of them are trailing smoke. But either I missed it or I just landed a lot of accurate shots very quickly. Where's that? Uh. Artillery. Oh, these guys have mortars too. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's the battery. It's gonna start right there. We need one more. One more truck for it. best not to manually task them to fight it. I found that they, like, naturally, they're actually really good at taking on the uh, enemy in that way. For some reason. I don't know why, but they're really good at that. Ooh, 
We're out of fuel. These things are putting in yeah, mega work. Ziel vernichtet. So they fixed it, so now these guys are going to actually be in, like, positions. I think we need to get some trucks off to these guys. There you go, lads. Mobile firepower for you. Dude, those planes have a lot of firepower, like, available to them. It's actually kind of crazy. Alright, any more artillery? Oh, yeah, right, we do have all this, too. And we have these. So I'm gonna get a replacement 120 mil of these guys, and then finish the battery that I was setting up there with those. Ooh, look at that! Right when our planes started leaving, they came in with extra support. Also in the game, like if you know you've got fighters who are um, look, they're actually they're gonna pull these on a strafing run, or at least this one. I like how if you've got like actual like multiple bombers together, like I tried this in the Finnish campaign, like a bomber formation, like you would B-17s just to bunch them together, or like multiple I or multiple IL-2s can actually cover themselves. Like alone, they're vulnerable, but in groups, they can actually fend off fighters, which is really interesting. Like, it's really cool how that kind of mirrors reality. I think we have to pull that back. And this thing's not going to destroy any trucks where it is, so we're going to pull him back too. All he's going to get is artillery fire rammed into him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. No! Oh, I tried to get him to evac. I tried. He flew too close. He flew too close. These IL-2s, I think like they may have been buffed a little bit in terms of like, their capabilities. Well, I can't really say for sure. We'll counter by swarming with more planes. They seem to be focusing in this sector more. This is where we're deploying these new aircraft. Is that the German plane? Oh no, it was an that's an ILT there, for sure. We're having a good time this game. Oh sheesh. Okay. Well, we're in good shape there. Look, the infantry is close enough now that we're directly engaging with our infantry machine guns. It appears that we have so many planes in the air that, uh... Let's pull him out since he's damaged. Gaden, look good. Jawohl, Commandant. 
Recepționat. Mergem acolo. Ok, let's throw those in. We don't want them getting lazy. Bolșevici în față. Pregătiți-vă de angajare. Dude, the, all the enemy planes are coming in through here. It's crazy. That one's damaged. It's not yet. So once the infantry squad gets pushed down to like as little as three members, we're gonna pull them back to the rear areas um, because if the squad is completely destroyed, then they can't be used in the future. But if they're not completely destroyed, then you might be able to use them again. So we want to pull him back. No, you know you're throwing a, like a one strong member of an eight nine man squad at the enemy. You may as well pull it back unless you're at the very edge, being pushed right to the limit. Fast infantry attack, supported by aircraft against a much smaller position, repelled by basically just superior uh, firepower. Shooting down the planes and using just a ton of artillery and mortars to shred them as they come in. Or at least pull them back, make them retreat. Repeto, control. Oh, I guess we can't kill that. Ooh. Yeah, that gun's down to one health. We're gonna pull them back. Oops, same with this one. We want to pull them back too. Where were the grenadiers that we lost? Oh, they must have been killed in the open there by the snipers. That sucks. This guy's also at just one HP, so HP, quote unquote, if you will. So we're gonna pull him back. Let's uh, let's make sure we can equip all of these guys with the trucks that they need to continue firing. Oh, and we can set up another 120 mil battery as well, I think. Yeah, nice. And then we'll throw in uh, two more aircraft. That'll be our setup. Those guys are getting wrecked. Oof. Dang, it sucks losing the guns and stuff. But, it's the way it is. Bro, we literally need, we literally need aircraft to attack the sniper. Like no, you're you're not allowed, buddy. I'm sorry. You're not allowed, though. Any other trucks we need to pull back or? Verstanden. Verlegen Feuerstellung. Move back to position. I don't think so. And our income is also up. Marinteta! Kamrad! Kamrad! We love near the failure. I don't feel safe with the commandant there, so we're gonna pull it back to DLTLs D excuse me, DTLs planes to strike those targets. We have basically the entire fifth fighter group flying, except for the ones that have already been like explicitly shot down. You know what? F it. We can use these guys for ground support. Who says we can't? We totally can use them for ground support. Okay, and supply wise, we want to keep these guys stocked.
Okay, we're good now. In that department. Say goodbye, my friends. Yes, bro, get get pinned, get pinned. Oh, no. Okay, aircraft, kill this guy. He's attacking the commandant. Make sure he gets taken down at all costs. Le 105 is dead. Oh no. Geschütz wird bewegt, Herr Kommandant. Oh, I don't know what man. These guys don't miss, do they? Accuracy of 80%, that's not even very realistic. Well, we lost the Commandant. We'll kill him, though. We'll get our revenge. Let's pull this Commandant backwards. Dang, we're really taking heavy fire now. We're having to pull a lot of units out of the front line. This is going to be a definitely a harder campaign, which I'm relishing, but it's not easy. As I just said, it is a harder campaign. Not that I'm stating the obvious here. Ooh, there's a crater right there where the last supply truck would have been. Any more? You know, we actually don't have any more supply trucks to give out. Although we can place this here to replenish this battery. Where else is full strength, I think. So we'll leave that in reserve until one of the batteries loses a, a guy. And yeah, we're we're out of ammunition. God save the queen. Let Arnhem reference. By the way. God damn, look good. Yeah, snipe all the support guns. They seem to have stopped, um, or they seem to have given the practice of using planes a break, either that or they ran out completely. Get out of the way, gun. Ooh. Sucks losing supply trucks. Oh, we lost it there. Damn, that sucks. It's like we only have so many. We need them. What we, we need what we have. At least this longer battle is kind of letting us defeat them in detail. Okay, where is the enemy plane? I heard their alarm. There it is. Look at that, the, the direct hit, like raid, it was only very mildly stressed out. Or shouldn't have had any suppression like effect on him at all, and yet he missed. Or he only killed he killed nobody. Like 
like these guys are actually not very good. Unironically so. Let's uh, pause real quick and check for low strength infantry squads or almost depleted guns so we can pull them out. There looks good. Looks good there. The machine gun there was taken out. These guys are almost out of long, longer range ammo there. Guys, we're gonna put them into a fallback state. Here, things are fine. Although they did capture these flags here, so it's like we don't want, we don't want the line to bend backwards. To fix that, we're gonna put two IG guns up there from our frontline regiment and drop some extra Panzer Grenadiers right there. Nimm die Beine in die Hand. I think that position is my house. Oof, lost the 120 mil. Okay, well, that's about everything I wanted to deploy. Some of this artillery is going to run out of shells soon because they're out of, out of ammo. Or are on the edge anyway. Dude, they have so many troops, they just keep coming and coming and coming. Like, we could mass artillery fire, like here or here, but they're coming along like six or seven axes of attack at once. Yeah, this held fine right up until we lost the SIG gun and the pack ran out of HE shells, so we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen again. We gotta keep an eye on that. I'm glad this guy survived. Though, I didn't think he would. are not really any kind of a current issue for us. They're definitely not appearing in any significant numbers. It would really lower morale to be attacking headlong and see like all of your support, like your waves of supporting aircraft just get shot down as they try to deliver their bombs for you. That would be a real morale killer I'd imagine. Those are actually full up now, so maybe we'll so drop ammo Ende. off to like these guys because they need it. Ooh, they're right there, aren't they? Sheesh. Okay. They pushed way ahead. New plan. Unload right here. Oh, but they're not. But they're not pushing forward. Interesting. Paris, cut Paris. One, two, three. Oh. Yeah, I gotta unpause it. I have to unpause it. I'm like, why aren't they moving? That's so mysterious. Why would they stop there, lol? Obvious tactical error. Oh, I have to unpause the game? Okay, cool. Holy cow, we, we might just strip, lose the town. God, 
God. Gosh, there's so many. Ziel vernichtet. Ruhe, Herrhorn. Wachsam bleiben. There's just so many of them. It's like terrifying. Tavarish, nie strilaj. Ich habe hier das Kommando. Wir sind leer geschossen. Well, at least this this side is holding firm, though. That's for sure. They're not going anywhere. We'll pull him back. This is probably gonna take a, just another casualty pulling back. Just in that action. Okay. F it. Fusilier swarm. That'll rectify the situation. Here you go, you're fired off your last shell. Now retreat, you're only one man strong. Oh man, they're getting cut up in the open. We didn't have like planes target and destroy all of those right away. These guys kill 76.2 and you I don't know, you killed something else, I don't know. You keep an eye out for planes. Wir sind leer geschossen. Zu ihren Diensten, Herr Kommandant. Fertig machen zum Sprung, wir greifen gleich. Wie wäre es mit Trommelfeuer? Okay, you're out of rounds. All right, fall back. Just retreat. There's nothing you can do. You guys are all out. Okay, pull back to there, and we'll have the truck resupply in a minute. Actually, I think he's going to be doing this. Fusiliers, retake the town. Oh, man, I put those guys on fallback and they never completely fell fell back, if you will. Okay. Um, let's get. Wow, we're gonna have a draw here. In a bit, if we don't get our act together. Micro, micro, micro. Fall back so you don't get exploded. Another 10 fusiliers to that town. And we're gonna start dropping machine guns here. Oh, we had six machine guns with these guys. Sheesh. They should have been deployed way already. Okay. Attack them. Also, it looks like the snipers are doing a hell of a lot of work. A hell of a, excuse me, a lot of work in just pinning our guys down like repeatedly. You better fall back, buddy. Get back. Wir sind leer geschossen. Überprüft Waffen und Munition. Stehen bereit. Der Fußbus bleibt immer.
Out of ammunition, eh? Okay, fall back. Y'all out of ammo? Fall back. Man, when I ran out of Artie, right was the moment when I was like, okay, we're having a bad time now. <laughs> We need to get that flag to like as soon as we can. Y'all pull back, you're out of ammo and depleted. Supply dropping. Haben Sie two batteries to get some ammo, the, like one to get like almost none. I think. How are we doing here? You better pull back. Los geht's, Männer. How are we doing here? Looks okay, not good. That's cool. There's so many. It's a huge swarm. At least we killed that sniper, though. Attack him. We'll task these guys with like just killing random groups of enemies. Trench lines, like more fallback positions for ourselves too. I feel like. Yeah, hold, Commandant. Don't catch him all. I think we may have exhausted all of their air power, though. God damn it! That's good. Oh, and I think we need more infantry to shore this up too. Not, we don't need leaders, we just need regular guys. Maybe a, a giant counter attack would be useful. A light, a light armored counterattack that might actually do good for us. There's so many they're just gonna just swarm over us. <laughs> we need to take back at least this, this, and this flag because our our left flank collapsed, and that was all it took for them to like get really close to a win. We are ready. We can't wait anymore. Geschützt bereit, Herr Kommandant. Verstanden. Verlegen Feuerstellung. Fall back. Fall back. We're gonna take every okay, single one of these that's on mission and have them attack something. Don't catch him all. Rejectionat zum Bedroom. Dude, those attacks are really just in the nick of time. We're doing great. Ouch. 
They're killing everything. It's terrible. Let's get better fallback too. He's almost out of health. Beziehen neue Feuerstellung. Necessarily. Make it not a draw, make it not a draw, make it not a draw. God, we had all this available as well. How silly of me. We have all this hardware and I'm not using it. Yeah, we need more IG guns, definitely. God damn, that good. You know, actually, oh. though, now that I think about it, like these bikes contribute overall to the strength of the platoon. If it did, or if the companies or whatever, if it falls below like a certain level, it's just considered destroyed, and so. These I'd rather leave to be the last thing, so we don't want them actually wiped out. We're gonna keep them here. I just hate to say it, in quote unquote reserve. That should do it right, surely. Or like, how is it still a draw though? Like, I mean... I 
have just like one bomber to drop there would be nuts. Those are all the acceptable yeah, strength. Since all that has not quite worked, we're also going to throw this at the enemy. And this as well. Paris, Katre Paris. Uno, doi, tre, attackum. I think the worst thing about this round, the reason why we're doing so badly, is because they've had the chance to literally use like, all of their units, and usually they don't get to do that. We schaffen es nicht. Garden, Blöcke. Wir sind leer geschossen. Lass mich raus! Ich will nach Hause! Lass mich gehen! Die haben wir niedergemäht. Verstanden. Verlegen Feuerstellung. Lass mich raus! Everybody get back or you won't have a chance. Jawohl, Kommandant. Wird gemacht. Still got MGs? Okay. That's something that we need. Obviously. Another wave of infantry. Hopefully that'll all do the trick together. Out of ammo, fall back. Retask the plane to... Bad guy. Retest plane to kill bad bad guy man. Weder Freund noch Feind. Nur Blut. We're doing a boys' mission of back. 
I think. This is out of ammo, so we may as well get it to retreat. That's insane. This is cancer. This is just pure cancer. Ziel vernichtet. Wir schaffen es nicht. Überprüft Waffen und Munition. Holen Sie das. All I can do is just feed the back, feed the back, feed the back. Wir geben auf. Just feed, brother, feed. I think instead of, t instead of tasking, we call it infantry squads. These planes should ah, definitely be, be focused on like snipers and machine guns. Specialist squads. Yeah, they must be out of planes by now, otherwise they'd be pounding us, I think. Lass mich raus! Ich will nach Hause! Lass mich gehen! Oh, auf dem gelben Wagen! Speer zur Stelle! Verschwinden wir von hier! There's too many of them, boys. Fall back! Ohne Kontroll! Four minutes, okay, let's just hold out for four minutes. This game went from like, haha, how many enemy can be killed to, oh god, they don't let them overrun them. Don't let them overrun us. Next time, we're setting up a lot more fallback positions. These guys will pass them with taking the forest, I think. That forest line. These machine guns need to be moved up. There, there, there. Nimm die Beine in 
Combat value is nil. They, I also believe that they've deployed everything that they actually have. Like, they must basically be out of troops. And like, I refuse to believe otherwise. Like, they must be empty now. Kill them because they're threatening to overrun this right now. Bravo, Alta Victoria. Every plane needs to find a target if they're not already killing something. seconds. Micromanage the squads. Make sure that nobody is out of health.
do I have reinforcements coming here? Oh yeah, I do, that's right. Good. I'm gonna say like, man, I better. so close to the front line there. But he should not be. Dude, that's nuts. Okay, that was exhausting. 105 to 393. 3 to 1 KD, but when you've killed that many enemy, that means you've lost a lot of guys yourself. Let's not even like check this. We're just going to go to the very end and look at the total losses. Whew, I think we're gonna end the video there folks because that was that was a grueling round and I, I don't want to make these too too terribly long so uh, another one of those if we have another one is gonna make this this video too long so we're gonna end it here and then uh, I will start another video and then y'all can watch these two videos separately because that was not definitely a crazy intro to our campaign I don't know if this is gonna set the tone for the whole campaign but if it does then this is gonna be tough it's gonna be hard to stop them from uh, from pushing all the way back. We're going to have to do some clever stuff like that um, flank I mentioned or, or that opening and closing the gate thing I mentioned to be able to kill a lot of their units because fighting them head on, as like I said, is just not going to be worth it at all. Okay, so we lost three planes, not terrible. A lot of, a lot of infantry, you know, just because of the way the battle was. Their losses, though, were horrendous. I think they lost like almost all their aircraft committed. A lot of Tomochiki. Most of them because they were they were the ones to run forward across the open ground first while these guys would be stopping and shooting at targets. Um, a lot of those enemy squads ended the battle with like half HP or some members dead or just a few so I think we really missed a chance to inflict super heavy losses but um, which sucks. But it's okay because next time we'll learn and we'll concentrate fire I think a little more. Anyway um, 
Let's click OK and then see what they do next. They're going to attack us again, I'm sure, somewhere. Uh, and that's where we're all in the video. Okay, interesting, interesting. So, here, this is not somewhere where we can use aircraft. Not that we have fighters left over anyway. And, um, okay, okay, we have two flat guns there. I'm thinking about anti-aircraft because well, we can only use one artillery piece and at least the enemy though can also only use a couple of guns at a time. The only problem is this is a ridiculously strong pawn. Like this definitely should have been split. I mean, you can clearly see that each one of these is a battalion. It's got 3,000 men in it versus my 802. I guess they wanted to give the Soviets a good chance to break through, but like still, look, two brigades, 6,000 men. That's nutty. And then all their own art native artillery support from these and everything and mortars and I mean, God, they should have split this pawn up. These brigade, like, I would say these are kind of unfair. And when I, if I play this as a Soviet, then I'm going to look at these right away and say, I want to use these to the best effect because they are chunky, chunky boys. 12 machine gun like this is a whole battalion by itself like a small battalion chunky chunky boy okay well anyway that's going to be the end of today's video uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed next time we will be back and uh, we are going to uh, continue with standing their attacks but for now this is your host Star Destroyer Gaming signing off